Hey guys. Please subscribe my channel. Today our topic is. What is frost wall? Purpose of frost wall. Types of frost wall. Requirements for constructing the frost wall. Advantages and disadvantages of frost wall. So move toward our. Today's video. Frost wall. A frost wall. Is a protected wall. Constructed around the foundation's edge. Built underground, below the frost line. Since the frost wall is buried under the soil, the frost heave process won't use any upward pressure. On the foundation. In the interior of a building structure. Walls that are constructed above ground level. Can also be referred to as frost walls. As a result. This will serve as insulation. And keep the building's interior warm. Additionally. These frost walls retain heat from the building. Avoiding soil freezing. And other issues. Purpose of frost wall. A frost protected walls. Main function is to prevent the surrounding soil. From freezing. During extremely cold weather. Ice melts into the water. At any temperature decrease. Hence freezing and thawing process. Is necessary. These ice lances. Will exert significant pressure on the nearby. Soil mixture. Types of frost wall. Depending on the requirements of the load, temperature, and building features, various frost walls can be constructed as follows. Frost wall with load bearing. Frost walls with non-load bearing. Frost wall with load bearing. The foundation will now be responsible for the frost wall due to its construction. By being built beneath a substantial layer of soil, this wall will serve as a foundation wall. This will be obviously built below the local frost line. Extreme weather conditions are used to construct these frost walls. Frost walls with non load bearing. These walls are built like an insulating wall. There is no insulation in these built in homes. These insulated non load bearing walls will be constructed inside the structure. Non load bearing frost walls help to stop heat loss through the foundation. It is prohibited for the interior frost wall to touch the exterior wall while building the same. Extra care should be taken. A gap has been left between the two walls in order to prevent moisture from turning into ice inside the wall structure it is also advised to have a barrier requirements for constructing the frost walls if all the structural components with this construction possess the necessary qualities the construction of the frost wall performs better some of the fundamental behaviors related to its requirements include the following to avoid any gaps the basement wall that was built under the wall needs to be patched these basement walls are typically built using cinder blocks. The gaps can be filled with brick fillers. If the basement walls are made of concrete, it is necessary to use a paint sealer to fill in any cracks. There are specialized paints in the market that can aid in preventing moisture from entering the basement. All structural elements must be built with the main objective of preventing moisture invasion. Advantages of frost wall. The building's foundation allows heat to escape. Preventing the ground, below from freezing and heaving. Unfrost protected shallow foundation installation. Enables soil beneath the foundation. To stay above freezing. Even during extremely cold winters, when used in conjunction with geothermal heat storage. Disadvantages of frost wall. In colder climates. Frost damage to building structures. Is a serious problem. The construction is only influenced. By the temperature properties of the building materials used. If you enjoyed our today's video. Then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel.